Hi, greetings. Welcome to your first analytical question. So this one is under civil drawings. Here you are given a site plan. So you're going to look at the site plan and then answer the given questions that are here. So let me just zoom in a little just so we can be able to get a view of our site plan while I answer the questions. And then we can start. So first things first, you are told to name the feature at one. The feature at one is called the North Point. So you're going to come here and print North Point. And then name feature at two. This feature at two is what we call the building building line. And as you can see on this picture attached, a building line is a line that it's like a limit. It's like a limit beyond which a house must not extend into. So it's a line that is there that and your building must not go over it. So that is basically what the building line is for. So it's a limit in which a house must not go over. So whatever it is that you are going to be building or that you want to be in your stand must not go over that building. Whether it's a swimming pool, whether it's trees, everything, even the building itself should be within that line. So that is the purpose of a building line. And then this feature at three here is the tree. So a tree is like that. And then you are told to name the feature at four. The feature at four is what we call contour lines. Contour, it's a contour line. And the purpose of a contour line, as you will see in this picture here, it indicates the height. So the ground elevation or the depression. So it shows us how low or high the ground level is. So that is the purpose of a contour line. And then you will see that you have a contour line here and then your other one here. Moving forward, name the feature at five. At five, we have this little rectangle there with a W on top of it. That is what we call a water storage tank. A water storage tank. So that is your water storage tank, mostly used, the water is mostly used for plumbing purposes. And then for six, you can see that it is this line that looks like a border line on our site plan. That line is called a boundary line. And the purpose of a boundary line is to indicate where one property ends and one and where the other property begins. So it's things like your fence, your walls that you have between houses. So that's the purpose of a boundary line. And as you can see, our boundary line ends here on this line here. And then again also there and then there. So that is our boundary line. And then name feature at seven. What do we have at seven? We have this line that looks like a center line. That line we call it a sewer a sewer line. 
So our sewer line, it consists of large pipes that carry waste. That waste can be human waste or water waste. But then it carries that waste away from buildings to a place that it can be gotten rid of safely. So this line, this line, it's your pipes that make up a sewer line. And then the feature at 8, you can see it's MH. It is known as manhole. And as you can see on, that, on this picture that is attached here, it is a small covered opening in a paved area and it allows access to beneath, so to the underground, especially if it's leading to a sewer line. So that is the purpose of a main hole. So you can see everywhere where your sewer line is, there is a main hole that is connected there. And then what type of drawing is shown? The type of drawing that we are shown is a side plan. They can ask you what type or if there is a side plan. If the drawing has another title, then you will put that, you will write that title. So we are given a side plan. That is the type of drawing. This is a side plan. And then in what street is the driveway? In what street is the driveway? As you can see, we have this street here and our drive here, you can drive to that street. That street is Babiana Street. So you have to write Babiana Street. So you can see that, that is your driveway here. And then what does the abbreviation RE, this RE here, what does it stand for? It stands for Roading, Roading I. And then how many inspection eyes are there? You have one, two, and three. So IE stands for inspection I, meaning that you have Three, or you can write it in words and just say three, like that. So this is H, just in case you can't see. So that is how you will answer this page when it comes to your site plan. All the best and thank you for watching.